It is definitely poisonous. So it has these alkaloids, which are chemicals. Um, like all plants have chemicals. Everything, chemicals are everywhere, but these particular chemicals can make people and animals pretty sick. Um, so at trumpet flowers in general that have this like beautiful long shape, um, they're part of what's called the nightshade family, which is a very dramatic name, right? <laughs> and it's in part because these plants can have like even hallucinogenic effects when people ingest them. Um, so they can be toxic, they can be hallucinogenic, they can do all sorts of things to our bodies and especially for like, you know, small toddlers or pets, they could be very dangerous. It's most toxic when you actually consume it in some way. Um, so I think um, you'd have to like see a doctor if your child touched it. I don't think it's as major of a concern if you just touch the leaves or the petals, but it can have an effect on you. So it probably depends on yeah, the size of the child and their age and all that. And I'm not a medical professional, but um, yeah, there would be some concern to that effect. But that being said, it's an ornamental plant that's planted in a lot of places. Um, so you could probably see it in places like Fairchild. Um, and so it's, it's all over. Um, and I think it's just that you, the real danger is in ingesting it. So that's why people I think are most concerned about, you know, kids and pets who don't necessarily have the boundaries that adults have with plants. So they might actually go up and start mouthing it um, or licking it or something like that. And so that can be really toxic.